Travis Cloak's dominated the football landscape, and we were keen to do a little less on him tonight, but there's been some big developments this evening with the secret meeting taking place just a short time ago. Our cameras were there, and Damien Barrett was on the spot, on the spot and filed this report exclusively for Footy Classified. It has been an intriguing night here at Westpac Centre, where Collingwood, we believe tonight, has put a fresh offer and a fresh deadline to Travis Cloak. The sticking point remains, though, the five years he wants against the four years which the club is prepared to offer him. Other clubs, as we know, Fremantle and Carlton, are considering five-year deals. In Fremantle's case, they have offered a five-year deal. In attendance tonight was Eddie Maguire, the club president, Gary Pert, the club CEO, Jeff Walsh, the footy operations boss, and interestingly, Nathan Buckley, the coach, got himself involved in these discussions. Travis Cloak was here, as was his father David and also Ralph Carr. And as you can see, there were stony faces and pretty tight lips when we caught up with them after the meeting. There you go, how did it all go? Oh, we're in talks. Are we signing yet? No. How serious is the offer from, from Carlton? You expect to stay at Collingwood Play, mate? But you met with uh, Ralph Carr and David Cloak and Travis, and uh, you've put a, a new deal to Travis tonight? Mate, we've had private conversations, Jeff, where it is all right, thanks, Mike. So that meeting took place at the Westpac Centre earlier tonight, Caro. Um, what does this mean now? I mean, the Collingwood Footy Club, with the news of the Carlton offer making the paper today, are they just pushing things along here and saying enough's enough, we need a time frame? Well, I think the meeting was booked a week ago, Gary. That's what Collingwood is saying. Um, I, think, I think the meeting went pretty well, and Damon's obviously right. A fresh offer was made. I think Collingwood could waver on their refusal to go beyond four years if the money's right and if the cloaks are sensible about the money. I don't think Carlton is, has made a bigger official offer, though, as another one that's come into the picture, and that's a Melbourne football club, who I understand are very keen to get the services of Travis Cloak as well. Fremantle, of course, put in the offer quite some time ago. They're on the table. I think Melbourne's offer is every bit as big as Fremantle's, Gary. Well, well we put it to Travis Cloak on the footy show a couple of weeks ago, and we'll speak about that interview, about uh, purported interest from the Carlton Football Club. This is what he had to say. Have the Blues ended the picture late? Not that I know of, no. Um, obviously, we've had connections with the Carlton Football Club with Cameron was there. Um, Swanee's there, was at the club, and I get along really well with a lot of the boys there. But on a contract terms, no, I haven't heard of anything like that. Um, Hadn't got an offer, but said that they got every reason why he should have an offer. Um, is this for Collingwood Footy Club flexing a bit of muscle now and saying, uh, let's get this thing done before it becomes a distraction? No doubt. I mean, there's a perception in the background that they've done the Dane Beams deal on the back end deal. They don't want to let it be known yet because they want to use it as leverage. They do need a decision, though, Gary, and they need one quick. Uh, it can dismantle their season like they had last year, and I'm sure that they'd push for one pretty aggressively. Nathan Buckley on the weekend again on radio was very strong and very honest about p the potential for this to be damaging, not only for Travis, but also the Collingwood Footy Club. I really feel for Travis because I think his, um, his product or his uh, brand has been damaged by the way that the last couple of months has panned out, and it doesn't help the Collingwood brand either, and it's, it's unfortunate. Criticism from you too, Tomo, on your blog on 9MSN on the weekend. You don't think he's worth the money? I think he's uh, overrated if we're talking, uh, you know, a million bucks a year and uh, north of 750 even. I, I would have offered him th uh, 500 grand for three years and be done with it. Um, well, that wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to keep the player doing that. Fine, he's out then. Go and get someone else. Um, I, I don't think any individual uh, holds any club to ransom, and especially when you, you only get so many opportunities to play in a grand final and win premierships and I'll be buggered if I'd be allowing one individual to get in the way of that. So he either toes the line and uh, commits to the Collingwood Footy Club or uh, he can go with, somewhere with else. With respect, you don't seem to know the market too well. I mean you had Dane Beams' figures way down, everyone comes well, along why? and you say, well, well, you say Dame, everyone's not worth what the money. Dame Beams on? You, you, you're critical of what he would tell to get offered last week. Do you, you think everyone's worth that? We're, we, we were saying Dane Beans could get high 400s in an open market, but it was only on high twos at Collingwood mm. and clearly would want more. You mm. say they can't win... The, the, you talked about premierships. Can they win a premiership without Travis Cloak? They lose him? Um, no, no, I don't think in the short term, no. Particularly given that Chris Dawes is struggling so much so that his, his position in the team would have to be in doubt. Um, He'd be much better without Trevor there. Chris Dawes would be much better. Yeah. Well, then, then the argument, I mean, it's hypothetical, but is he the player that we thought he was a couple of years ago as well? Um, no, he hasn't probably uh, this year lived up to last year's expectations or the year before, but uh, I just think Trav's um, a little bit... Um, I don't see 
the great benefits or the great uh, reputation that everyone touts about Travis Cloak. I, I see a good contester mark. and uh, 60, 70 um, goals as a key forward, not a bad effort. Well, Big when it's going up. inside 50, uh, 50, 60 times a game, mm. and you're the pee in the pod, uh, you know, what, 20 or 30 of those, yep. uh, and you're winning, uh, what, 70, 80% of yep. your matches, uh, and you're beating up on a lot of sides who don't have a lot of uh, opposition, and there's not a lot of power backs in the game these days, uh, all of those things considered, uh, I think he does a really good return. He's a, uh, he's a 7 out of 10 player, but he's getting paid as a 10 out of 10 player. It doesn't add up. It's a supply and demand issue as well, though. It is, but I think that clubs are very weak in negotiations. And okay. I think other clubs offer... I think Carlton's just playing a game here. This is Sticks yep. Kernahan getting one back on uh, Collingwood Footy Club and say, we don't care, we'll, you'll be paying him 100 grand <laughs> I think extra they'd like What we've seen though. tonight is, is Collingwood... All those people turning up to that meeting. It's a good sign for Collingwood. It is an, it is an acknowledgement that this has got to get yep. done. It is hurting the footy club. We heard what Nathan Buckley said. He also yep. said he'd advised Travis not to do the footy show six weeks earlier. He did it anyway. Signs of frustration coming out. Get it done. They, they've got a flag to win. Uh, have indeed. So uh, positives, I would have thought, from that meeting tonight.